We want to talk about that manipulation, how we can manipulate that, and what it means is just about you know rotation of that. You can move that from wherever it is to any other position that you desire. For example, you can decide to have your dart here, French dart, or you decide to have shoulder dart, or even to the neck. You can decide arm hold anywhere. So now, once you use this paper as an example, this is the front body, our front uh, body pattern. We want to use it for that manipulation. And the first one I'll be doing is I will want to have a French dart. French dart comes from here. So I will make a line from the bust point to this edge of the paper. So I'll just rule out a line. This is my French dart. And now I want to close. This is my bust dart and this is my waist dart. To have this, to open up this uh, French dart, I will need to close the waist dart and also the bust dart. This is it. And also the bust dart. You see, it's as if it's difficult for me to close this. But once I open up this uh, other line, everything will be fine. So I need to open up this. Make sure you don't cut through. So this is what we have. We have closed the bust that and the waist that and we have opened up the French that. So now if I cut out this pattern on my fabric, all I need to do is just to sew this part and I will still have the same effect, you know, as, you know, as if I'm having my bust that and also my waist that. So the effect will still be dead, will still be there. But if you don't want this, probably you want, you know, to have your that's on the neck, you no, know, or on the armhole, on the shoulder, anywhere you can do it. So let's try the shoulder. Okay, now we already have our waist that here, our bust that here, and now I want to close this to that and form another position for our that. I want to get another position for our that, and we want it to be on the shoulder. So I'll be closing this two side. I mean that. I also close the bust that well if it's giving pr uh, trouble you can just cut into the shoulder first before closing the bust out the bust that make sure you don't cut through so I'll need to close this so I've successfully you know change the position of my dart. If I cut out this on my fabric, all I need to, the only dart I need to sew will be this uh, shoulder dart. And once I close it and sew it, you know, the normal way you sew that, then I will have this part bulging out as if I'm making my normal waist dart and also bust that. Okay, let's just close it. Let's assume we are sewing it. So by the time we finish sewing the shoulder that this is what we'll be having on our fabric. You can see it's fine. So this is how to manipulate that.